What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Goldmouth, coming at y'all with another mukbang. Okay, y'all, so today I have a 6-inch Ultimate Public Sub, and I have some carrots, a big old bowl of carrots. I don't know if I'm going to eat them all, though. And I have some ranch dipping sauce to dip it in. I, the only, the, my best ranch is, um... Hidden Valley Ranch, y'all. And that's all I had left in my container, y'all. <laughs> I need some more. So, um, my public sub has uh, the ultimate. And I get the boar's head. I always get the boar's head. Um, this is a 6-inch. I did have a 12-inch, y'all. But I ate that one last night. So, this is what's left. Um, I get the boar's head meat. You know, because they got the boar's head meat. And they also have the Publix meat. And I get the boar's head. And I also have lettuce, olives, um banana peppers and cucumbers on it not cucumbers but pickles so that's what i got on this sub hopefully it's still okay because you know sometimes when you put like a sandwich in the refrigerator they got lettuce on it the lettuce be like kind of get soggy and stuff so hopefully that's not the case but either way we're gonna eat this thing oh and i do have my cup of water you guys somebody had asked me about my cup yesterday um i don't know if y'all could make this out of what this cup say but it has the time on it, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's, it's made so you can refill it twice and you have two of these a day, which is better for me because it's not as overwhelming as my other big old cup was. Um, my big old cup is back there in the front. Um, so uh, this is better. I don't get so like, oh my God, I thought I drunk like a gallon. I felt like I drunk a gallon. Then I looked back and then only like that much missing. I, I was That was starting to get on my nerves because I felt like I was like drinking so much, but I wasn't going nowhere in my cup. You feel me? So that's why I got this water bottle right here. Okay, y'all. So what I did pay for this water bottle, I think it, I caught it on the flash sale and it was... I think it was six ninety nine five ninety nine on the flat sale, but originally it cost like twelve dollars, eleven ninety nine. So I wouldn't have bought it for eleven ninety nine. So right now there is it's not on sale on Amazon. It is I think it's eleven ninety nine or twelve ninety nine. But either way, for twelve ninety nine, eleven ninety nine, I won't buy it. But it's a good bottle. Go to Walmart to get your water bottle. It's just the same difference. No nothing spectacular about this bottle except that it has the time slots on the side. Okay, okay, y'all. I am going to get into eating my food, you guys. Y'all know I said I'm gonna try to do better in 2019, so I do have my big old bowl of carrots here. Thankful for them. So, anyways, let me get on to praying for this food, and we can so we can eat. Okay. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. That made me tired, girl. Okay, come on, Jesus. God is great. God is good. Lord, I thank you for my food. By my hands, you're my best friend. Thank you, Lord, my daily bread. Amen. Lord, let this food be pure, clean, and nourishing for my body. And let it, and, uh, nah, yeah. Okay, God, I'm about to forget how to pray. In Jesus' name, let it be pure and clean and nourishing for my body. <laughs> In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, God, thank you. Okay, y'all. Um, So, I'm going to try these carrots first. I don't like eating carrots like on camera because you got to chew them 50,000 times. Mmm. But it's so... These carrots are the... they called sweet petite carrots at Walmart. They're already in the bag, already cut up. And they say sweet petite on the bag. Mmm. And they is sweet just like the bag say. They're not none of those. You know how sometimes you get carrots and then they're just not sweet. They just taste like a carrot. Mm. Yeah, I don't like those kinds. Oh, I got my napkins on deck. Y'all already know. Y'all, I'm so bad. I'm bad, y'all. I don't know why my water ain't cold because I ain't talking about like this. I'm just talking about I had my water in the refrigerator in the jug. Um, somebody got some water out the refrigerator and left my jug on the countertop last night. But I thought I put it back in there, but apparently I did not put it back in and 
in a good time because my water ain't cold in my bottle. And I'm glad because I don't really like cold water in my bottle. It's harder for me to drink like ice cold water. But this is like regular temperature water and I could drink that down a little bit faster. But I just said why it ain't cold because I thought it was because it was in the refrigerator. Might be school leaving stuff out all the time. These cats are so good. So good and sweet. And they go perfect with this ranch, y'all. I got my ranch again. I had to. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Y'all, this channel is helping me to hold myself accountable for eating healthy because... I know if I got to come on camera and eat in front of y'all, I know I got to have me a bowl of veggies, a bowl of fruit, or something. You know, because that's what I said. And it helps me to stick by, stick with doing better, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. It helps me stick with doing better. So this soup, I hope this lettuce on here didn't get like soggy and it's still good, but it looked good. It looked like it's, oh my God, it looks so good. Oh, and I got, um... Oil and vinegar on my sub as well. Oil and vinegar. Mm. Okay. Still tastes just as good as it tastes last night when I had the other half. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> mm. Do food ever make y'all happy? Like, I'd be so happy just to eat. I was a little kid. And I'm so hungry, too. So that would make this video even more better. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, y'all. So that make my food taste better and make my video more enjoyable for me. I don't know about y'all, because y'all can't taste what I taste, y'all. Get into this six-inch sub. Boar's Head. Publix. Very good. And these carrots. So, so good. If y'all new to my channel, are y'all new to Gold Mouth? Period. I know I got a lot of new subscribers. Well, not a lot. But I have, um... A few subscribers who are actually um mukbangers. Mukbangers. Mukbangs sound so funny to me. <laughs> who actually, you know, do mukbang videos. So I figure maybe I need to reintroduce myself. Hi, I'm Go Mouth 100 on YouTube, my other channel. I have another channel. And I talk about hair, life, um, whatever, <laughs> pretty much anything over there, DIYs, vlogs, all kind of stuff. And um, that's what kind of videos I make on my other channel. I've been a YouTuber since um, June, June or July in 2009. This year would make me 10 years on YouTube. Yeah, I've been around for a while. No, I don't have millions of subscribers, but I have a lot of people who love me. And that really means a lot to me. Um, so, uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome here. And I also must add that I got some ghetto in me. Some ratchetness and all of that in me. So, don't expect me to be elegant and prissy and bougie on my channel. Because it ain't that time of day or hour for me to act like I'm all that in a bag of chips. Because it just ain't me, okay? <laughs> Alright, so, now if you hear me speak and say things the wrong way... It is what it is because that's how I talk. Um, I'm real country. Um, I am born and raised in Florida. Uh, right now, living in Alabama. And I went from one country to the next country, okay? So, 
if I don't talk the, right, the way you expect me to talk, and I, if I get loud, y'all, I'm just, I'm just telling you now, welcome, hello, this is Goldmouth 100, all right. <laughs> okay, you guys, and I, if you feel like you want to subscribe to my other channel, the link will be down below in the, in the description box. It is Goldmouth 100. I've been around for a while. If you ain't seen me, then you've been missing out on a good thing, okay? <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back to eating my sandwich, all right? <laughs> And now, if you are a YouTuber and y'all do videos, um, let me know down in the comments so I can check some of y'all out too, okay? Now, if you are new to YouTube or whatever, I'm just introducing myself to you just in case you're new to my channel. I know it's a lot of new mukbangers who are new to YouTube, it, it, period, who ain't been on for a while. I know it's a lot of people uh, that's just just coming on. They got millions of subscribers and millions of views. I ain't, I ain't one of those people, but I've been around. I'm your homegirl, your sister from another mister, and all of that, okay? So, that's just what I do. And trust and believe everything on my channel. I keeps it 100. I don't lie about nothing. I don't play about nothing. Well, I do play and joke around within myself, but not to other folk, okay? So, um, I'm just saying. Anything I say, I'm going to tell you the truth. And if, if I tell you my opinion about something, that's just going to be my opinion. And I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing, okay? Okay, now that we got that out the way, y'all already know I'm going to keep it real, keep it 100 with y'all at all times, okay? Let me eat my food, y'all. Y'all should know me by now. If you don't know me, Google me. Or well, don't Google me. YouTube me. <laughs> Go my 100, baby. Okay, y'all. Let me eat my sandwich. I feel like I need some more oil and vinegar on my sandwich, but... I can't get no oil and vinegar because I'm not at the stove. So, it is what it is. But it's so good. I'm going to tell y'all how good Public Subs is now. Public Subs better than Subway. Better than the corner store subs. I ain't never had no firehouse fire. It's a firehouse sub. I ain't never had that one. Of Anybody ever had a firehouse sub? Let me know how they taste. Because I always want to know. Because we had one back home in Florida. And I would always go in there. And the sub was too high for me. And I'm like, man, I ain't got that much money. Y'all know I'm a single. Oh, yeah. By the way, I'm a single. <laughs> I'm not a single mom. I am married. I have four children. I was a single mom of four children before I got married. So, and I relocated from Florida to Alabama to start a new life. So, that that's, there you go. So, anyways, y'all, I was a single mom at the time. I went to Firehouse Subs. And the sub was too high. I walked up out. I was like, ooh, those prices is high. And I didn't go with, I didn't ever buy them. So I, needless to say, I didn't ever try to sell because it cost too much at the time. And that was some years ago. My kids was a little then, but I have three grown children now and one 17-year-old. So, um, honey, we moved on up in the rural, honey. My baby is 17. I started YouTube when he was like six. Oh, actually, his first YouTube video I posted, he was three years old, y'all. I mean, godly, he's 17 now. Oh, my God, y'all. Whew. Where has the time gone? Like, for real. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Where has the time gone? My child is growing up and life is just great. Um, oh, y'all, have y'all been watching YouTube? Right. I know a lot of y'all that watch me, watch Miss Beloved. And honey, the other day, the other day she made a video. Was it yesterday? Well, either way, she made a video and said what really happened with Laura and Joe, Joe, Jolin, Lauren and Joel. And I was like, who the heck is that? Then I realized it was the two people that she had on her channel the day before, or two days before, or whatever. And they were on her main channel. They was on her ASMR channel, which I did see the video. Nothing of it. it was just like one of her regular videos. And I'm like, what is she talking about? Because the next day she she posted what really happened with Laura and Joe, Laura and Joel, or whatever they name your child. Y'all know who I'm talking about. So I'm like, I'm lost. Like, what's she talking about? Cause them folks I don't watch on YouTube. I ain't never even heard of them. You feel me? So I'm like, who are these folks? So I went comment, okay, everything, blah blah blah. I went to these folks' channel, so turns out she done, they done pranked her and fed her some Popeye's chicken from a two-star restaurant, which was supposed to be a one, they was looking for a one-star restaurant, but they couldn't find a one-star, so they found a two-star, and I'm like, wait a minute, it was a prank, though, 
But that's what they said at the beginning of the video. But when they got to Miss B and had her eating the food, and I'm like, okay, so is you serious or is you playing? I mean, because... So while she eating her food, she done ate about two pieces of chicken. They... <laughs> I don't know what what made them do that. I guess kids play so much. Some people just need to grow up, y'all. But, hon, let me tell you. She was eating her chicken, and she had done finished. She had done cleaned the barn. I think she had done ate another one. And then, old boy was talking about the restaurants, and the girl talking about the, the, the quality of the restaurants. And she was like, you know, she had, you know how Miss B be looking like. And then he was like, um, what if I tell you that this was one of those restaurants? Like, this was a, one of those restaurants. And I'm like, bitch. She looked like. And she... Put her food down and wash their hands like, uh-uh, what? You know, like, but what what get me is, usually in prank videos, at the end of the video, after you be done saying it or whatever, they'll say, oh, it's a prank, it's a prank, we just playing, because, you know, people be about to square up. And I'm like, so was you pranking her, is you, what? Because you, you said it at the beginning, but when you got to it to Miss B, you didn't tell her it was a prank. At what point you was going to let us know that you you told her it was a prank? So y'all already know anybody that loved B-Love, we was mad. Because I love Miss B-Love and I was I was mad. I felt some type of way because that wasn't funny to me. Because, honey, she, she did... Huh? Let me eat my carrot. Because you ain't got but one time to play with my food. One. You ain't even got that one. So, anyway, needless to say, anybody, anybody that's a true subscriber of Beloved knew by the look on her face that she wasn't even, that wasn't even funny to her. And it wasn't funny to us. And I don't, ever since then they began bashed. Because, see, that, that's what made me go check their channel out to see what they was all about. So, before. The video, you know how Miss B, uh, Miss B uploaded the video? She uploaded on her ASMR channel. So I'm like, why is it over here? And then maybe she uploaded on the wrong channel. That was the first thing that popped in my head because I'm in notification with both of her channels. So when that popped up, I'm like, wow, she did an ASMR video in a while. And then it said, not so ASMR. I'm like, okay, so why you put it over here when you got another channel that's clearly not ASMR? So I'm like, okay, something ain't right. But whatever, to each his own. She handled that with style and class, I must say. Because, honey, if you would have had to tell me one time, I would have bopped you dead in your mouth. For real. I don't even play about my food straight up. We would have squared up. We would have been chicken flying all over in your house, okay? You and you child. Let me hush. Because y'all know the ghetto will come straight up at me. But you ain't going to play with my food. And that was so messed up the way they did her. That was messed up. Even though she said, oh, it was a joke and she knew, honey. You not even finna play with me. You ain't finna joke with me about my food. And you would tell me it was a joke on camera and everybody watching. I don't even know what to say. I got the stuck up face and I want to punch you in your mouth face because you play with my food. Oh my God. Just my food of all things. Now you might prank me on some other stuff but my food. You might scare me with a spider or roach or bug but my food and I done ate it. It done went down and then you say you uh uh. No, baby. Because all I could think of was, remember that Popeye? I don't know if y'all watch a lot of YouTube, but I watch a lot of YouTube. And one of those Popeyes on, in one of them states had went viral because this one girl that worked there, she recorded. Like, she was a new worker. She said she had been working there for a couple months, I believe, or maybe a couple weeks. And then she recorded all in the back of Popeye chicken where they had roaches and flour and old chicken grease and dead bugs and all kind of stuff in there. That's what, that's the whole, that's what I was thinking about the whole time. And I'm like... Y'all fed that woman some food from a restaurant that's one star quality. And y'all already know. And you first of all, you don't even know how to pronounce her name. Calling Beloved. What the heck? Beloved? Come on now, miss me. Oh. I ain't come on here to rant, but hey, it is what it is, and that's where it go, that's how it is, alright? <laughs> So, but anyway, that, that's that's what threw me off when he first said beloved. And he said, but beloved, beloved, beloved. And I'm like, really? I, oh, I love watching your videos. No, you don't because you don't even know how to say her name. You got to know how to say her name if you don't watch the video. You got to know. Like, how can you not know if you actually watch her video? Come on. Come on. Just quit lying. Why you always lying? Why you always lying? Oh, my God. Stop all that lying. 
<laughs> Y'all, I wasn't even feeling it. Let me eat my food. I'm gonna mind my business. I'm over here minding my business, eating my soup. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. So, needless to say, I did go over there and watch that video. And that would be the only video I ever watch of them. I hit it back towards the other way. Now, back to the regular scheduled programming of my videos. I'm like, dang, I'm mad I watched that video. Now it's going to be popping up in my recommendations to watch another one of their videos. And that is not about to happen at all. At all, y'all. Because that was, that was messed up. Because you couldn't have pranked me like that. Not with my food. Like, I got kids and I feel like because Miss Beloved, she had kids that's around the age of my kids. Probably the same age because I think Darius, the same age as Scooby and um, Dalvin. I'm not sure if he's the same age as one of my other kids, but he most likely is. He in that age range where you they finish school or whatever. My oldest child is 25, so he in that age range. So, But I'm like, maybe she felt some kind of way as a mom and she know how kids is and kids can be stupid. I mean, they might not be kids. But they still kids because they always be dumb, especially at a certain age. So maybe that's why it was like, okay, well, I'm going to let them slide because <laughs> I know how kids are. I know how dumb they can be. Yeah, they can be real dumb. But that was just, come on now. I'm a hush. I'm going to mind my business, y'all. Mm. So... Mm hmm. Now, I don't talk so much junk today. I ain't really even eating my food like I need to. But, but she handled it very well. But y'all already know when we have like somebody we subscribe to, somebody like on YouTube that we watch, me as a subscriber. Even though I'm a YouTuber, I'm also a subscriber. And I'm also a fan of different YouTubers as well. So, once you get accustomed to watching a YouTuber, like, you you start feeling, you know, you kind of you you dig them. You feel me? You kind of feel like, okay, I like her, I like her, I like her. And nobody when I say nothing about her or whatever. Because we coming for you. And she got a lot of those kind of fans. But on the other, on the flip side of it, they always be talking negative stuff. I mean, oh my God, like, girl, how you deal with this? But then, I used to get mad at all the negativity that she got. But now, as I have gotten used to her negativity, like she's gotten used to it, then I can understand it a lot better. And then also, it's, these other mukbang channels make videos about, you know, all the little stupid little things that they can find in the video. And they put a whole vid video together and... Make it into a big video so people can laugh and make fun and say stupid stuff or whatever. So childish, child. Ain't nobody got time for all of that. Like, I mean, whatever. I guess that's that's what it is on YouTube, real. But I have never had to face that because uh, it wasn't like that back in the day. It ain't never been like that. I ain't never got like really cute. I guess because my channel ain't popping, you know. My channel ain't popping, so I don't get the, those kind of uh, things for me. I don't get that. So I guess once you do get a, uh, at a certain level, all kind of things still to popping off. But I don't know, y'all. I'm. I sometimes it make me feel like. I, sometimes I feel like, man, man, I should have been there a long time ago. I should have been had a, a hundred million thousand subscribers. I should have been did this. I should have been did that. Now that I look at it, I'm like, nah, I'm Gucci where I'm at. I'm Gucci. <laughs> I, I, I don't even want y'all to play with me like that. Cause, but now that I have seen so much of it. If it was to happen to me, I ain't, you know, I already know my flaws, so can't nobody tell me nothing bad about me that I don't already know, you feel me? So, it is what it is. That's just how I feel, but that that made me feel some type of way. I know Miss Beloved was like, oh, it was, it was, my husband was there, and it was just a joke, but still, even if he was there, I'm like, baby, <laughs> don't you play with me. Because my husband would have never let that went down. I'm not saying that. Not saying that he shouldn't have let it went down, but because I see he's a good dude, but 
You ain't finna play with my food. I don't give a darn who you is. I'll be, I'm snap, crack, a pop. You can look at me and be like, woo, child, the ghetto. Right. Right. The ghetto. So don't play with me. <laughs> Especially with my food. I gotta eat that, you know? Oh, this video wasn't even about food. I didn't come on to talk what I need to talk, well. Huh? I didn't take my black seed oil today, too. Oh! I also let you newcomers know that I am a cancer survivor. I'm a cancer patient since 2017. I don't want to talk about it, but if you want to know all about it, go look at my other channel, Go My 400, and find all you need to know. That's it and that's all. We don't talk about it over here, okay? If you guys have not tried a a Boar's Head Ultimate Public Sub, I'm telling y'all, y'all know what y'all missing. For real, for real. It's so good. So good. I need to eat these carrots, child. Why I'm picking over like they're gonna be different. They all they the same. Hmm. And if you have not subscribed to my channel and you watching this video, please feel free to subscribe, y'all. I need y'all I need y'all um subscribe. I need y'all to subscribe. I don't need y'all views. So I can get monetized. I'm trying to get this channel monetized so that way. One day I'll be up there. I'll be able to get me a little, a little YouTube check. So that's what I'm working towards. In 2019, I'm working towards getting my channel monetized. It's been a long time coming, y'all. I kept quitting. I kept giving up. I kept stopping this channel. Starting back again. Stopping and starting back. This time, I'm going to stay on it because I was undecided on what I wanted to do with myself. And I was going through a lot with cancer and depression and anxiety and all of that stuff. So it, it made me to like go off track with my mind. I was having mental problems and, and all of that stuff. I still have problems, but um, this time I plan on staying on my channel. And we're going to keep right on going. I don't know how often I'm going to upload. I don't know what time of day I'm going to upload. So... You're going to need to turn your notifications on until I get myself in order, okay? Until I get myself in order, then I can tell you guys when, who, what, when, where, why I'm going to upload. So, click that notification bell so you can be notified of when I do upload a video so you guys can keep watching. I love you guys for watching my videos. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Oh, yes, y'all. And if y'all are real, real new, I do sell bonnets to cover your hair. Bonnets. When I say bonnets, I mean bonnets for your hair. Like this one that I've been wearing forever. This is my baby boot bonnet. I've been wearing this one. This is one I've been rocking for the last couple weeks. But I sell bonnets like this to protect your hair. Satin line to protect your hair at night or whatever. So if you guys are interested in purchasing a bonnet, I sell bonnets. All proceeds go towards my. All proceeds go towards my um. My cancer journey, all the medical expenses, and anything that goes towards that, that's where the money goes for the bonnet. So if you feel like you want a bonnet and help out for the cause, please feel free to go to goldencreations.webs.com. I will leave the link in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I'm going to eat the rest of this off camera. And, um, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry for the rant, y'all. I didn't mean to go. Yeah, yeah I did. Yes, I did. I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Anyways, y'all, thanks so much for watching, and that's all I got to say in this video, and I will holler at y'all later. Bye!